Hey guys, this is Blake with Feeling to Function. Today is like May 5th, um, and so I wanted to make another video talking about goals and my goals for May and telling you that if you don't have goals for May, you should have goals for May because you need to have the long-term goals, but you need to be setting short-term goals. So for me, I'm trying to make a video each month telling you guys what my short-term goals are. One, to hold myself accountable, and two, to make sure I have goals and to hope you guys are setting goals. So if you get nothing else out of this video, get that you need to be making goals, things that are reasonable, the things you can achieve to keep you going and keep you propelling and working hard and trying to achieve them. Whether it be that you write them down, that you tell them to someone, that you leave a comment in the comment section telling me what your goals are, and then we all just work together to achieve them. So my goal for April, I was trying to lean out a little bit for summer. I wasn't fat, but I was getting a little puffier than I feel comfortable with. Um, my goal was to get down to 160, and I think it was April 28th, I weighed in at 160. Um, so I've started kind of dialing back my cardio. I have it down to where I plan on keeping it throughout my bulking or maintenance time in the summer. Um, and now I'm just going to slowly start implementing more calories back into my diet. So one of my goals for this month is to uh, basically reverse diet. Um, my metabolism slowed down quite a bit from when I was gaining weight, um, so I want to work my metabolism back up and find my, find my maintenance level basically, so that um, at the start of July I can start putting on lean mass and hopefully keeping my body fat gains to a minimal amount so I don't get stuck cutting again because cutting is no fun. Um, so I'm kind of in that awkward stage right now between cutting and bulking which isn't great, a lot of people don't like it. Um, that's why they recommend you either make your mind up, you're gonna cut or you're gonna bulk. Um, <clears throat> but I feel pretty good right now. My calories are starting to get closer and closer to maintenance. So I'm getting a little bit leaner still, but my body's starting to harden up a little bit. So I'm feeling good. Um, but my goal for this month is to track my progress. Just like I was saying, you need to be tracking your progress. I go in the gym, I work hard, um, you know, I can think about how much weight I lifted, but I've started making charts like this, and you can get journals or notebooks. This is just what works for me. I grab a clipboard in my gym. Um, I write down in the first column what exercises I want to do that day, the night before, and I print this off, or I could do it on the weekend, do them all at once, whatever. Um, so when I go in the gym, I know what my goals, like what my plan is going to be. I'm not just going from station, doing bicep curls, then doing bench press, then doing this and that. Um, I didn't do that before, by the way. But now it's really structured, and I know exactly what I'm doing when I'm in there. So I want to whip through it. And I put more stuff on here than I know I can get done in the time I have. So that way I'm constantly pushing to try and get more and more done. And then... I'm pushing one because I want to put the best number on this paper possible so that next week I don't lift way more than that and go, wow, I really sucked last week. But two, I want to look at last week's paper and I want to beat those numbers. So it's more of a game um, for me now. Um, so I feel like I'm going to work harder. I've also started lifting with a buddy a little bit and I think that's helpful because you have a spotter, you have someone pushing you, you're trying to one-up the other guy. Um, so as long as I keep my form and my ego in check, I think that's a good thing. But my basic two goals for this month are to find my maintenance calories so that I can start putting on lean mass in June and to lay out a good solid summer workout program, start tracking my progress and get an idea of my numbers that I'm lifting now and then when I reflect on them a couple months down the road, hopefully it'll be a really positive uplifting thing, the progress that I've made. Um, I, if you don't record your what you lift or how far you run and how fast you run it or how far you swim and how fast you swam it, I recommend you start because it makes it so each time you want to push a little bit further and a little bit further. Um, and if you want to get better, you're going to have to keep learning to push harder and harder. This is a good way to track it. So thanks for watching, guys. Leave me a comment in the comment section below of what your goals are. If you don't have any goals, think of some right now. Get out there, get active, do something. Even if this month your goal is just to walk 15 minutes every day, that's still a goal and that's still good and that's more than you're doing right now. I'm happy with that. Um, just do something, set a goal for yourself. Really embrace the nice weather, get out, do things, take care of your body, take care of me and like this video. Check my Facebook page out, like me on Facebook. 
Uh, share this video with someone that you think would uh, find it useful, and have a great day, guys.